Ah, well, it's not supposed to do that. Hey, everybody. It's that time again. I think we've got a core plug rusted through back here somewhere. So let's get the exhaust manifold off and have a look and see what we can find. So first thing we're going to do is see if we can get this loose and take the exhaust pipe off out of the way. both hands for this there we go right I'm not going to bother taking it off there I'm just going to take it off all in one piece with these four studs there so first quick squirt of Boltex come on you can focus the threads don't look in bad shape but of course that doesn't mean anything, does it? Well, amazingly, all four of them have come loose. So I'm just going to get those off and we'll be back in a second. Well, got that off. And uh, interestingly, at some point in history, someone's broken both ears off the three and four exhaust port and welded them back on. Don't know how well you can see that. So they seem to have done a reasonable job. I'll have to check that for flatness. It does look like it's been blowing a bit. But I'll check that and make a decision whether to replace the manifold or put that one back. So, can we see any better? Not really. Well, let's see what we've got to take off next. I think that is the offending core plug. I think that's the one that's got a hole in it. Um, right. Well. That doesn't look a lot of good, does it? I'll replace it and give it another try. Unfortunately, if one looks like that, probably most of them do. I've replaced three on this thing already, so perhaps I ought to just bite the bullet and replace the rest of them. Alternatively, I just leave them and see what breaks next. So before I uh, get to the core plugs, I just want to fix these things which somebody in the past has not put back properly, not they're really going to change the operation but they're just going to annoy me by being like that so I'm just going to fix them. Uh, that's an improvement it's just little things like that will really even if I can't see it I know it's there. Right let's have a look through the core plug box. There's a transmission. Too big. I think that might be what we're looking for. So, yeah, 065070, I'm pretty sure that is what we are looking for. Feels about right, I'm going to go with that. So, next I'm going to, I've cleaned the worst of all the scale and the crap that was in that hole out as best I can without getting too excited about it. Next, 
need to get as much moisture away from there then as I possibly can. But while I'm doing this, so yeah, once I've done that, I want to give it a nice uh, brush up, buff up with a Scotch Brite or something like that to get the inside of the hole clean um, so that I can put just a, a little bit of sealant around the, plug, the new plug and hopefully it won't leak. But while we're at it, these are, I'll call these all sorts of things, people call them freeze plugs, cold plugs, you call them what you like, I don't really care, but they're not there for protection. If it should freeze, they are actually there so that if, so well, when, it's, when the block's being cast, it's like a three-dimensional, um, all the internal parts are one element of the mould and the external surface are another. And these are holes where supports for the internal bits of the block run through. Afterwards, they just machine them out and put a plug in there. Um, people call them Welsh plugs, which is not technically true in this case. And these, if you look, I've got a lip around the edge, they're like, they're like cups. So that's a typical core plug. A Welsh plug can do the same job, but that tends to be like a convex disc. Anyway, enough of that. Just going to get this cleaned out and we'll try and drive the uh, new plug in. Okay, so put a bit of sealant in there, got the new plug in place. I'm just going to use a socket extension to drive that in. Try and get it as square as you can, so you're hitting it as square as possible and just gently tap it into place. There, job done. And so confident am I that that won't leak, I'm going to put the manifold back on. I'll clean those studs up first, put the exhaust manifold back on, get ready to get this thing out and see what the next thing to break is. Right, so I've got new gaskets, new manifold in place, just need to bolt it on and we're nearly there. The battery has died on the lights, of course it has. So uh, we've got what we've got. I'll be back in a second when I've got these uh, nuts on. Well, it's hot. Nothing has gone according to plan today. Uh, not terribly impressed with that exhaust manifold. It's not an agri line, um, but there's no clearance to get the uh, nuts onto the studs. It's just a general pet. Anyway, I think it's on there. It doesn't seem to move. Let's see if it blows. But anyway, we're all back together. Let's go and get some water and uh, see if it uh, holds water. Right, first run in, I don't know, eight, nine months. See if it works. Well, not our happy with that. Well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> 